Welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. We have a lot to discuss and we are going to discuss Nasdaq, Dow Jones 30, S&P 500, FTSE 100, crude oil, gold, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum in today's video. Now I do understand that there are fundamentals moving in and a lot of people are passionate about the stock market moving in the upside direction so we're going to look at it and we need to first of all let's start with Nasdaq a lot of people are saying that the stock market is going to go up because uh, the Fed is not going to raise interest rates as uh, quickly as they were supposed to as they were expecting it and uh, they have realized inflation now uh, the economy is in a technical recession they're still calling it technical recession the problem here is that this only happened two days ago and we have been going on in this trend for, from right over here alright and so the last push here is coming this is we're right at the tail end of the pattern right now so this is the important point that I wanted to bring into my analysis today I have uh, discussed this before and I would discuss it today as well that a lot of time the fundamental analysis or uh, is is really late is at the tail end of it uh, the way the markets or the analysis the fundamental analysis is coming is at the tail end of it we have to realize that the pattern started right at the at the bottom of wave 3 right over here too so what I am expecting right now that we have completed wave 1 right over here and wave 2 is complete, wave 3 is complete right over here in this area and wave 4 which is right now going on and we are going to discuss wave 4 and, and I have already given a forecast that we are expecting a huge wave coming towards the downside completing the wave 5 that wave is expected to be completed around the mid of September alright so we are expecting a huge drop especially in terms of a in terms of in times of uh, time and we can also look at it that the trend itself towards the bearish side is pretty healthier alright if you look at the trend we have seen a drop right over here and we have seen a lower high so this is lower low and then lower high and then we have seen another lower low and a lower high is expected unless we can actually go and go beyond that which is uh, 15,251 the strength on the bearish size side still stays healthy so there's nothing do not get fooled by the by the Fed or by the fundamental analysis people are who are doing fundamental analysis properly they are well aware of it that market is right at the tail end of the pattern which has actually started right from over here we were bottomed around 11,000 points and right now we are uh, up around 2,000 points so that's good enough for people who are actually bearish and they want to get out of the Nasdaq so it's good enough for them let's have a look at our daily time uh, hourly time frame and see what pattern are we actually looking at it let me do go to auto right over here so wave 3 completed right over here and we are actually going through a W X Y X and Z this is probably not the ideal way to uh, and uh, to give it to give it the labeling but I was considering it as a zigzag a correction another zigzag a correction another zigzag a better labeling would be wave A wave B and wave C where wave C is a five wave structure we have already completed wave 1 and 2 so we are right now going through wave 3 and wave 4 and then wave 5 so let's correct that while we are at it let me delete this and let me bring this right over here so we are very very close to the completion of this pattern and we are expected to see the end of this pattern pretty soon and this would be of not minute but minor just less than okay and within that we have completed wave 1 and 2 wave 3 and 4 and 5 so we can also label that quickly so that we have some sense of it this is the start of the pattern wave 1 and wave 2 wave 3 and wave 4 and then wave 5 would be finishing right over here and then we can actually go and change it to minute okay and then if you want we can change the color as well or there you go so this is what I'm looking at right now 
um, we are very close to the completion of this pattern which actually started from over here A, B and C. I am expecting that we shall be completing this pattern that actually started from over here all over here in couple of days. Next two to four days we shall be completing. I have drawn this trend line for you guys to observe the break of the trend line when the break of the trend line occurs. We do understand that sometime wave 4 can actually s be really side wave so keep that in mind. Um, but if that happens in that case we can readjust the trend line let's say if that does not happen then a break of this low which is 12,000 points would actually be indicating that the pattern that actually started from over here is complete so two first of all we are relying on the tra the trend line and then we are relying on the previous low along this structure so previous low has to be broken or the trend line has to be broken to give us an indication that we have completed the top the amazing thing about this uh, setup is that it's uh, after we have completed the wave structure right over here we are expecting for the price to go down and it's going to create a massive massive drop uh, in terms of price about 40 45 days on the um, on the calendar and can prices come all the way down right over here there is a good possibility that the prices can come all the way right over here the reason is because if you look at this resistance it comes right over here so the previous structure that we have already retested this one uh, we actually you can look at it this bounce happened on this structure and this bounce happened on this structure so the next structure is this one so that's why I'm giving an indication that 6630 is a valid structure is a valid uh, a target for NASDAQ I'm bearish on NASDAQ about next two three days are going to be bullish for NASDAQ let's have a look at Dow Jones Dow Jones is also giving us an indication something like that we can need to understand that Dow Jones can actually come right over here in this region right over here so if you look at uh, the week the daily time frame we can actually see we have one and two we have three and four and wave five a lot of you guys are now shouting wave or four is going into the territory of wave one yes I'm aware of it in that case we'll consider this hole as a leading diagonal I've already told you guys that we are in the initial stages of about seven to ten years of a bearish price action at least the least thing that we're gonna see is the two years bearish price movement so we have two years to go only few uh, months have been gone and then we're expecting for the price to make a bottom of the five day structure in around somewhere in the middle of September so the next drop is expected to be somewhere around this region right over here let me um, come and bring this horizontal line this is uh, going to be the next structure right over here and let's have a look on an hourly time frame and see what's going on in hourly time frame here is once again we have wave A, wave B and wave C is going on we have already completed wave 1 and 2 3 and 4 is going on uh, right now we are going through 3 and then will 4, 4 will occur after that 5 and then we should be expecting prices to drop as prices had moved upward we, and the, mm, the pattern is about to complete we will start getting more uh, data points for trend lines to be drawn for now we can definitely rely on the previous drop previous bottom the previous bottom on this particular structure is right over here which is 3,130, 31,680-ish. So we need to keep attention if prices drop below that in that case would say that the drop has already happened over here. However, I'm expecting next two to four days of a bullish price action in Dow Jones and then we'll turn our heads toward the bear side. S&P is presenting a similar picture as well. Let's have a look at S&P. So S&P is presenting a similar picture as well. I'll just show you guys a daily time frame right over here. And then you can guys can actually look at what we're expecting. The next drop is expected to be around the lower end of this particular structure right over here. This is our potential target for S&P. Let's have a look at FTSE. FTSE is a little different. A lot of you guys probably, if you are trading FTSE, uh, we are looking, we were actually expecting for FTSE to drop, but it did not. We were expecting for FTSE to drop somewhere over here, but it did not. So what's going on right now? Here is the correction. That's, we are still in the correction. We have W, we have X right over here, and then we have A, B, and C. Wave C is still going on. It's kind of forming an ending diagonal, which, which is very strong wave one, and a wave two right over here. We have wave 3 ending and then wave 4 right over here. 
let's say that in the case wave 5 becomes larger than wave 3 in that case wave 3 would be ending over here not over here so you gotta keep a close eye on it I'm bearish on FTSE and I think FTSE is going to turn bearish a little earlier uh, actually I think any moment now maybe Monday would be a bearish day for FTSE so I'm bearish on FTSE on uh, let's have a look on a daily time frame and let me zoom let me clear it a bit eh? so here you guys can see I'm completely clearly calling it as wave 1 and wave 2 is about to be completed and then we are to since we are seeing an N ending diagonal we have to expect a strong price movement downward till the beginning proper um, beginning of the ending diagonal which is right over here so we are to expect a stronger price movement right over here once again we have completed wave 1 and 2 and wave 3, 4 and 5 are still left I'm bearish on FTSE crude oil let's have a look at crude oil we have come across a very technical situation right over here a lot of you guys are probably wondering what happened right over here I gave a bearish outlook uh, for crude oil and then this thing this is what's going on right now so the correction although the pattern was complete on itself the correction decided that it needed more time alright so here we can see we have completed a b and c which is w and then we have completed an x and then we have completed a y so it's a double three structure where the wave a itself is an expanded flat wave b is a zigzag and wave c is uh, oh sorry wave the x is a zigzag and wave y is, is a zigzag too so let's have a look at what's happening on a larger scale we have completed wave 1 right over here this green one of wave 3 or wave 2 is already complete so wave 1 is complete wave 2 is complete and I'm bearish and this black trend line break should actually give us a confirmation that we have completed the top right over here and then we have to go further down I'm bearish on crude oil nothing has changed with that regard and I'm clearly explaining a huge wave down downwards for crude oil let's have a look at gold now I already told you guys that I am uh, gold is going on through a different structure most of people uh, in elitization uh, most of elitations actually can actually count a five wave structure which is wave A and wave B and we have one two three four and five right over here I am a little hesitant I'm gonna wait for the break of the previous stop which is 1878 to give me a confirmation that we are have come bullish on gold R reason is I'm expecting some more bearish price movement in gold I'm expecting the price to go up a little and then come down uh, meet its target of 1560 uh, till the very last end or in the early couple of days of September all right so maybe the first week we would say first last half week of August and uh, first half week of September so this is what I'm looking for I'm expecting uh, gold to bottom a little earlier uh, than the bottom or in the stock market in the US so I'm still not if let's say if the price actually goes beyond 1878 and we can actually see a daily close only and only then I will turn bullish on gold I'm still looking uh, that gold is still bearish on that side let's have a look at Bitcoin a lot of you guys are looking at Bitcoin and first of all I provided an analysis about cryptocurrency I told you guys that while everyone was bearish right over here I told you guys that we are to see some bullish price pattern and this is what's going on right now I'm as um, a lot of you guys were saying too but my uh, analysis caught on later and I think that Bitcoin is actually going to move along with the with the stock market in US so we are still a couple of days I would say three to four days uh, left here I've given you guys the top when is the top expected we expected to see the top from August 1 to August 4 and our pr probably target for uh, Bitcoin is 33,000 area 30,000 right over here in this region and after that I'm expecting that we will start seeing selling pressure come back in the market in cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency would be actually uh, I still have to do the 
uh, the time it's little following in a different time cycle I have to go in the historical place cryptocurrency is so messed up it's extremely extremely hard for me to find the cycles in the historic data where I can actually uh, match it and give some uh, timeline for the but I would say that it would be probably around the same time as the US indices are going to bottom which will be somewhere around the middle of September so one more thing that I wanted to discuss for cryptocurrency is that one pattern that I have noted in cryptocurrency uh, let me bring that to auto right over here is that once along with the close uh, very close to the I mean at the end of along what I'm saying what I mean to say is that somewhere near the top we are to see a strong bullish day if you guys see a strong bullish day right over here that definitely has an indication that uh, top is very close the top is very very close so keep this thing in mind and we'll, let's say if the time target arrived first then we are going to be turning bearish it does not mean that we are definitely going to see th this price target so the time target is more stronger in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies uh, as compared to uh, that the price target but I'm definitely definitely looking for the it to create a top somewhere around 33,000 Ethereum as well let's have a look at Ethereum and I think I've told you guys that uh, Ethereum is expected to create a top somewhere around 2,900 which is somewhere around 3,000 I should have said 3,000 so expect it is expected to create a top around 3,000 the date the time is exactly the same for Ketokron, uh for Bitcoin and Ethereum so we're expecting to create uh, a top somewhere in the middle of August 1 to August 4 and then I would turn bearish and then expected I'm expecting that Ethereum is to keep falling bearish pressure would come in uh, till the middle of September uh, exact date we are trying to uh, focus actually let's see if I can find some data to provide some data uh, so we can actually close in for the date thank you so much for uh, um, seeing the content and liking it or disliking it uh, I would definitely read all of your comments if you want to put something in it wish you good luck with your trading next week have a good one and bye bye